Okay, so here we are in Nomad with our Velociraptor. Um, you can see it's it's multiple objects there. Um, so what we need to do is we need to export this from Nomad as an OBJ. Um, all these objects will get automatically combined into one when they come to ZBrush, but that's fine. So what you need to do is to go to the export. Um, actually, before you export, it's probably worth checking to make sure that you don't have any any layers on. So layers can cause problems sometimes. So just go through, check there's no layers, uh, bake all the layers down, merge all the layers down, and um, just saves any problems. So then go into your export. <coughs> um, you need OBJ, um, and you need vertex colors and export normals. It's the only two things you need selected. Don't bother with the selection only, otherwise you'll only get a single object exported. So that's it. Just go to your export OBJ button. It'll take a little while, depending on the size of your model. This one's pretty big. And then choose here where you want to save it to. As if it's in my badly spelt models folder. <laughs> um, I've already exported before, so I'm just replacing it. And then you're done. You're ready for ZBrush. Okay, so now we're in ZBrush, or ZBrush, if you want to call that. Um, we just need to import our object which we exported from Nomad. So, tool menu, import, find your object. That's up to blue. Open. It's quite a big one, this one. I think it was about. It was a gig, so. A little white load. <laughs> and there we have it. So just drag it into place. Hit T to go into edit mode. Otherwise, it would be a dodgy splat on the canvas thing. Uh, and there we have it. It's loaded in, has all its polypaint sorted. Um, if you want to see the polypaint a bit better, um, use a skin shader instead. Um, that's my custom interface. You would probably click on thing there, and you could choose. Yes. It's magically disappeared from my thing. Oh, there, skin shader for. <coughs> so there we have it. It's all imported, um, and technically that's done. Um, but if you want to do any editing with it, anything else, it's it's one object. Um, so if you wanted to split it into pieces um, you could then use group split with an auto group to split it up so what you really want to do is you want to split all the separate objects into sub tools so object wise we have the body tail and head all one mesh uh, the nails are separate mesh teeth are set of mesh, the eyes are set of mesh, and obviously the base is a set of mesh. And so what we need to do is split that off. So I'm turn the poly paint off because we don't need it for the moment. Um, what I'll do is I shall put that on the draw poly frame and turn the little thing on the side there, the little tiny thing to turn off the mesh because I don't need to see the mesh. I just want to see the colours. So currently it's one poly group. So what we need to do is we use the auto groups function, which I have in my custom menu. Uh, you will have, if you don't have my custom menu, which you don't, is poly groups, and it will be auto groups somewhere. Auto groups, there you go. So auto groups, and what that does is it assigns a unique poly group to every unique mesh. Which is kind of alright, but you do get a lot of poly groups because you've got lots of teeth. Um, so what you would do would be to group split this. So it would split every group into a separate subtool. But at the moment you're going to get lots of subtools. So we need to merge some of these together. So control shift click on the body. Um, that will isolate the body. <laughs> control shift click again on the body, which will hide the body. <laughs> control shift click on that. Control shift click on that. And control shift drag over there, which will isolate all those, and then control W, 
we'll assign them their own poly group. So now control shift click again, we'll bring everything back out. Uh, so again we can go control shift click on there to exit that, control shift click to invert it, control shift click on the teeth, and control shift and drag over those, make sure those, and control W to assign them a poly group. Control shift click and a poly group is not very good. So assign a different one until I get a colour that's different. Right. Um so again, control shift click, control shift click. Uh, and we want to we'll take all of those claws off the hounds and assign them a poly group. And click, shift click. And we just control shift click these to hide them. And if we do that, you know, ball. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. do that. And control W. So that's so we have the feet claws, the hand claws, the body and the base all separate. So I think that's fine. So we have essentially one, two, three, four, five, six polygroups. So when I, if I group split this, I should get six sub tools. So your group split is it should be in here somewhere. Uh, oh, it might not be actually. It might be in the sub tool split menu probably. Yeah, group split. So you do a group split. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's done. So the, only the one I've got selected has the poly pin, the poly frame on. So I'll turn that off now because I don't need it. So what we have is we have all these sub tools. Um, so if I turn isolate on, we'll just go through them. So we've got the base, teeth. So let's just rename these. Um, That isolate is solo up there, by the way. I've just got a hotkey for it, but it's the solo mode. Uh, so, where's my name go? Pause. Move. Mm, feet. Eyes. So there we go, and if I turn it off, they are all separated. And turn clipping back on. You can do that in one click actually. Just hold the shift and click and I'll turn the body off and on for the whole lot. So that is basically it. You now have your nomad model in Z brush, all the separate subtitles, um, and then you can go and do with as you as you please. Um, you could decimate it, you can Z remesh it, you can pause it. Oh, this one was already paused because I did it earlier, but I hope that makes some sense. Um, next from this, we're going to go, um, we're going to take this to 3D print, and in the next video, I will be joining it back together again, but this time I'll be booting it back together so that it, uh, it will be a nice, clean, and uh, watertight mesh for 3D printing. So that's that for now from Nomad to the bush.